waking up $2,400 richer this morning. Last night, I bought some TLRY after hours, seeing that it was holding up after hours, holding that $200 area. I bought some, thinking that we might get a little bit of a pop this morning up there to the 250 area, maybe 270. We got the 230 area. I'm gonna show you my profit, selling, and all that here in a second. Also, talking about my overall just change in my trading how i went from losing every day to now making money every day in the last couple of weeks i've been green i'm not going to say that i'm going to keep making money every single day for the rest of my life but i've been on a bit of a heater and we're going to talk about that kind of what changed what was the big factor that i feel like changed my trading for the better what did i do and my overall just changes my broker and all that stuff talking about it in this video making 2400 dollars while sleeping overnight waking up to the profit i can't complain i'm done for the day i'm gonna go on the boat now but i'm gonna leave you guys with this video you can see what went down and then we're gonna talk about just the overall day trading emotions what i changed to go from having consistent red days to now having consistent green days let's do it let's talk about it let's break down those barriers let's make some money all right, so last night I ended up buying some TLRY before close there at 201. Seeing if we can push up a little bit higher here. I'm watching this 225 area. 225 can't hold it. I'm gonna jump out, but I'm up right now $2,500. Not bad holding this overnight. Not bad. Small size, but don't really need big size to profit big off these moves. Like we just push over 230. Got that big seller there at 228 right now, holding it down. I'm gonna end up taking it right there at 225 just to lock it down. $2,400 just for sleeping. Just sleeping overnight. Not bad. I went to bed. I woke up $2,400 richer. This is too funny. Too funny. Let's just talk really quickly about why I did what I did for this overnight hold and what I was thinking just overall. So yesterday, TLRY made that big, massive move up there to $300. Everybody was talking about, right? So it was everywhere. Everybody was talking about the stock. They all thought that it was going to go to the moon. It was all over the place all over the news all over cnbc twitter stock twits everywhere it was everywhere so basically i was just keeping an eye on it it dipped down here to that 188 area there after hours and then made a nice little comeback got back up there to 218 and then it closed closed right there at 200 and i was thinking to myself there's probably a good chance in the morning that this thing hits 250 260 area one more time we might get one more push before this party is over. I'm gonna get some shorts that are covering, some shorts squeezing. I'm gonna have the FOMO crowd there. Earlier this morning, it hit 236, which I was up like $3,000 at that point, and it came back down. And then at seven o'clock, once a lot of the brokers started turning on and people started waking up, you can see this spike at seven o'clock. Look at that. At seven o'clock, it went from 211 up there to 228. Almost broke back over 230. And then right now, looking like it's having a little bit of trouble but overall not bad i i literally just woke up here about 6:45, saw that it was pulling back and i was like i was up 3,000, and then i saw it pull back and i was like all right i'm gonna go take a look at it now and it's probably gonna push probably gonna push above 230 here but i'm gonna lock it down you can see making the 2500 dollars just sleeping just falling asleep waking up not bad it's not a bad way to wake up no doubt about it could this have went lower yes it could have went lower no doubt about it. There was definitely a little bit of risk here, but knowing that I was able to trade early pre-market was one of the reasons that I would felt okay with holding hundred shares. Cause I'm thinking to myself, I can wake up at six o'clock, see where the stock is. We had that previous support there at the 190 area. And basically I, I, I thought that I was maybe risking a thousand dollars here uh, for the possible, you know, four, five, six thousand dollar, maybe even ten thousand dollar move. So the upside was definitely there, and then I felt like the downside, getting in there at two hundred, felt pretty good. That two hundred dollar area, that whole dollar, you can see today it was bouncing off that two hundred dollar area, it bounced there, uh, right? It bounced off that two hundred dollar even yesterday. Uh, so I was thinking we'd have some support there pre-market again. And that's exactly what we got. We got that pre-market support there at 200 again. You can see bouncing off that $200 support early in the morning there at 4 a.m. And look at it now. Looking like it wants to go. Probably should have gave it a little bit more time. It wasn't going to be greedy here. I wasn't going to force it. I'm going to be happy with it. $2,400.
I'm not going to complain. One thing that I want to talk about really quickly here is obviously, you know, I've had a lot of green days lately. Pretty solid green days. I've increased my size. So now trading with Speed Trader, I have a lot more buying power and I'm able to get in, able to get out much faster and more consistent. I haven't had any issues with my broker where in the past when I was trading with a smaller account, I wasn't able to buy large size. So a lot of people have been commenting like, man, you've been buying really big size. You've been making big profits. What changed? The big thing here is now that I've got a lot more buying power, I've got a lot more equity in my account. Now I'm trading with over $25,000. Uh, with the margin, I'm able to buy, you know, four or 5,000 shares. And in the past, a lot of the days that I had losers, a lot of days that I lost money on was because I was looking for, you know, 30, 40, 50 cent moves with a thousand shares trying to make 200, $300, where now if I get 5,000 shares, I can take profit with only 10 cents or only 20 cents. It's much easier to only get 10 cents on a move. I'm trying to trade TLRY and I'm only trying to get a dollar move. It's much easier to only get a dollar move and then, you know, with a thousand shares making a thousand dollars. Where if I'm sitting here buying a hundred shares right now and I want to make a thousand dollars, I'm going to need a ten dollar move. So you can see trading with small size is not a bad thing. I'm not hating on people. I'm not saying that it's impossible, but it's much easier to make money when you have a larger size. It's also much easier to lose money when you have large size, but at the same time, in the past, I've been able to capture 10 cents, 20 cents pretty easily. My problem has been when I was really trying to capture a big move, you know, trying to get that full dollar, I would be up, you know, 10, 20 cents, and then the stock would pull back. I wouldn't cut my loss, and then I'd have a red day. I also, I was chasing a lot. I just really just wasn't focused. When I, I think mentally when I was in that losing streak, when I had a lot of red days and just kind of overall bad trades, it was a combination of emotions and then trying to perform, you know, trying to make the YouTube videos, knowing that I could do it, but also hurting myself with the idea of trying to force the profits, trying to get in there, trying to get those big winners. Now with the larger size, it's much easier to jump in there, buying the dip, selling the rip. A lot of times you'll see my trades where I just buy the dip and then sell that quick little push back up and I'm in and out quickly. But with 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 shares, it's much easier to make money on these dip buys because a lot of times the stock will dip down. I'll buy the washout. It pushes back up 10, 20 cents. I take profit and then the stock continues to crash. Where in the past trading with smaller size, I was buying a lot of the breakouts and then the stock would pull back on me and I would basically get out for a loss. A lot of times the losses weren't huge. Uh, some of those losses were huge, but a lot of the losses, you know, were only $100, $200. But I would do it over and over trying to make that money back. So I would have one loser and then I would jump in on another trade, have another loser. And before you know it, I was down $800 because I was trying to force it and trying to make back that money. Where right now, my big focus, oh God, we're going over 230. Here she goes, over 230. Wow, look at it. It's going, it's going over 230 now. But right now, my big focus is just trading the chart, removing the emotion, trading what I know, seeing the support, seeing the resistance, and having confidence in myself, knowing that I'm able to identify the opportunities because in the past, I've done it before. I can, I can pretty much capture 10, 20 cents. I can see the opportunity there and I can get in and get out and take profit and trade without that emotion. And that's why I've been on kind of a heater right now, you know, removing the issues with my broker in the past where I had problems not being able to get out of a trade or not having buying power and having issues, removing all that emotion. Now with Speed Trader, I'm like, hey, everything works great. I feel confident in my trades. And a lot of people ask me, like, what's your actual, and a lot of people will ask me, you know, what's my actual trading system? My trading system really is just looking for opportunities, looking for stocks that are moving that are volatile that have support resistance kind of bouncing that are moving to the upside with decent volume and i'm just really looking to capture 10 20 cents getting in getting out getting in getting out and just seeing those opportunities just like tlry i saw the opportunity last night i grabbed it i got in and now i'm taking profit and i'm walking away with 2400 dollars. so that's really what it comes down to i know a lot of people are skeptical because i've had a lot of green days but trust me every day i wake up the same i get on the computer i look for opportunities i use trade ideas and i see what's going on every green day that i have it's following that same idea waking up with a clear mind 
not focused on what's happened in the past, not focused on the idea of losing where in the past I was really focused on losing. Actually, that's what I was more focused on, the idea that I was going to lose. So I would tell myself, oh, I'm going to lose. This is going to be a bad day. It's going to be a red day where now I wake up and I'm just focused on the opportunities and really trying to not sabotage myself. I feel like in the past I was kind of sabotaging myself by having that emotion, thinking about the losers. I was constantly like, oh, it's going to be a red day. It's going to be a red day. Oh, it's going to be a red day. And that's all I was thinking about. I wasn't ever thinking about actually making a profit. I was just thinking about losing. And you could see just the overall videos, how much differently I'm trading the emotions, the way that I talk. People in the past talked about how I would say things like, oh, you know, it's a good chance I'm going to lose today. This is going to happen. This is going to happen. And that was basically just me telling myself to accept failure, to accept a loss. And that's really what I was doing. I was just sabotaging myself there. It's the big thing here, the emotional battle. A lot of people battle that. And then now with a better broker, with, with consistent buying power, having the direct routes, having the better fills, I feel much more confident right now in my trading. And I feel good. I feel good overall. There's been some great opportunities. Another big thing that I want to stress is if you watch my videos, you'll see a lot of times I make profit and then I walk away. I don't sit there all day. I don't try to just keep on trading. A lot of times I'll take maybe one, two trades. I'll hit, you know, I'll make some money and then I walk away. And a lot of times the stock goes much higher than where I took profit at, like for today example, but I'm not being greedy. I think in the past, like I said, I was being greedy or I was just trying to trade all day, trying to trade back those losers. Being red so consistently was basically just sabotaging me. And now when I'm green, I take profit, I walk away, I go do other things. I don't focus on trading all day and it's just working out better for me. If I can make money in the morning, make it, take it and then walk away, I'm happy. That's what I'm gonna do today. Make it $2,400 here on TLRY. And now I'm going to go do other things where in the past, I feel like I probably would have sat here and been like, okay, I'm buying the breakout over 230. Then I'm going to, I'm going to chase this thing to the moon. And I would have been trading like that. And what would have happened? You know, if I would have bought here at 230, the stock would have probably dropped to 150. That would have been my luck. So now instead of trying to have like a profit goal for the day, instead of telling myself, oh, I want to make $5,000 today. My big thing is just taking what's there, taking the profit and walking away. Oh, look at it now, up there at 235. That's the one thing I wanna stress, not having a profit goal for the day. That's really helped me in a big sense because now, instead of sitting there and going, oh, I wanna make $500 every single day, now I just trade what's there, I trade the opportunities. You can see my profits have actually been much larger than in the past because I removed that idea of a profit target in itself. And now I just trade what's there, I trade the opportunities. Some days I might only make 500. Yesterday I made close to 3,000. So you see how it's kind of fluctuating, but overall I'm staying green by removing a lot of that emotion, not having to force trades, not putting too much pressure on myself. And then, you know, also some days, if the opportunity is not there, the opportunity is not there. But luckily, lately, the opportunity has been there. There's been some really good opportunities just overall to get in, to get out in some of those pre market plays. So that's really what it comes down to. I'm showing you guys that my thought process, I'm showing you guys my overall journey here to becoming a better day trader, to identifying my issues in the past. And now you're seeing the results. You're seeing the results of me basically analyzing what I was doing wrong in the past. And now, you know, turning over a new leaf and trying to move forward here and not dwelling on the past. So you can see emotion. Emotion is going to be 90, I'd say, I'd say 95% of what is going to really dictate your profit, your losses when you're day trading, or at least you need to remove that negative emotion and just focus on good things. Focus on your experience, focus on your, yeah, focus on your experience, focus on the idea that you actually are able to take profit, that you know how to trade. Remember trading is not as hard as it seems, but you're always going to be battling your emotions. And that's what people are really battling. It's not that people are battling the idea of actually knowing how to day trade. It's that people don't know how to control their emotions, don't know how to battle the emotions, that negative emotions, that toxicity that will end up hurting you in the long run. Also, another thing you should focus on is don't beat yourself up. Don't beat yourself up if you don't take profit at the top. If a stock like TLRY, you know, I sold here for $2,400. And if it spikes to $500, don't sit there and beat yourself up over it. Don't, 
don't spend too much time thinking about it because that can really hurt you as well. I used to do that all the time in the past. There would be stocks that went to the moon. I missed out on it or I you know, only got a little bit of the profit and then I ended up chasing and then it ended up losing money or overall it would just affect my emotional state because I was sitting there all day going, well, I'm an idiot. Why did I sell? I'm an idiot. Why did I sell? I'm an idiot. Why did I sell? And I could be doing the same thing right now here at TORY, but instead I'm like, hey, I made $2,400 sleeping overnight, baby. That is not a bad way to wake up. Waking up to profit is never a bad thing. Was there risk with this trade? Yes. But overall, I was able to identify what was going on there, seeing the opportunity, seeing that tomorrow there would probably be a little bit of a sympathy play, people thinking the stock might go back to the moon. You can see the volume today is only 175000 so the volume has definitely dropped off there. But overall, I'm thinking to myself, tomorrow morning there might be some action because it's holding pre -market. It's holding after hours. I liked how it bounced off the 150 bounced right back up there to 210 and then turn that $200 area into support. And you can see this morning back above 230. So identifying the opportunity, telling yourself that you're able to identify the opportunity and having confidence in yourself, having confidence in your trading ability, TLRY working out this morning. I'm gonna walk away there, $2,400 richer. People always ask me, there it is, locking it down. I'm gonna walk away. I'll talk to you guys later on. If you haven't already, do me one big favor, hit that subscribe button, help me help you. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Tomorrow, let's do it tomorrow.